Hello everyone, Shane here with RVs of America. Going to do a quick video tour for you on this stealth toy hauler. Um, it's actually in pretty good shape. I mean this outside, the decals are really good. The front decals are a little weather cracked, you can kind of see right here. But besides that, the unit's in great shape. So up here you got your electric tongue jack, which is nice, or you got your light and your your jacks right there. So that's super nice for you. Um, you got your big tanks, propane tanks right here. And they're the big, the larger tanks. Easy access right there, which is nice to have. You also have a two 12 volt batteries. These are actually brand new this year. You also have a little light here, which is nice for nighttime if you're trying to hook up or stuff. Let's come over here, back up a little bit and show you a really nice feature. Got a nice big kitchen, outside kitchen. A nice big awning that goes all the way across. Super, super nice. Little setup here. You're right here, you have an outside grill. You can hook it up to this and this slides out here so you can have cooking. This is a refrigerator, which it works nice and cold. I just turned it on a little bit ago. Right here, you have a nice outside sink, light, some cabinetry, some storage. There's your propane hookup. Nice counter prep area. Cool little setup right there. You have a awning, stairs that go inside. Let's go back to the other side, actually, over here first. Sorry, we're by a busy road, so it's a little noisy, but there you have some floodlights or spotlights out on the back. That's a screen that comes down, and then you got a ladder to the roof. It's pretty nice. Uh, you have your fueling, your fuel pump right here. And your gas station right there. Uh, the tires are Goodyear's. Looks like they're matching tires. Doesn't look to be any weather rot or anything. They look actually, duh. no cracking and a decent amount of tread. I mean, it's hard to tell in the video, but there's a decent amount of tread. So, should be good for a while. I'm gonna jump back on over to the side. Here is that, that's a generator door right here and your storage. You do have an outside shower and then this is a 30 amp plug and all your water hookups. Let's jump over to the other side. Okay, so back over here, as you can see, the awning's not put out all the way, but it's a pretty good length and this is nice for like dogs, put an extra little metal cage right there for kids or dogs or whatever. Once again, the tires on this side are also good gear. And I don't see any cracking or dry rot. And I mean, the tread's decent. It's not like brand new. Over here, you have your battery disconnect. Shut off all your battery. Look at the floors for a toy hauler. Floors are really nice, surprisingly nice. This is an extremely clean toy hauler. I mean, some toy haulers I see are just thrashed and beat to the bone. This is, I mean, like, look at the tables. They look like they're brand new. And the leather or vinyl seating is, may wipe it down a little bit, but it's in really good shape. Nice little bunk bed. This is an electric. It's got the motor right there, little electric bunk bed. So this one will lift up. You fold this down and this is a bed and it lifts up and they stack 
all the way to the ceiling, which is nice. You can leave it open and have a nice view of the mountains. Check out, check that out. Beautiful. This is one cool little thing that I noticed that I've, I don't think I've ever seen this, but look, there's actually some curtains right here. So you can have some kind of some privacy at night if you're sleeping on the bunk bed, but pretty cool. Lots of storage all the way along here, as you can see. Nice kitchen area. Over here you have these nice rocker chairs. And another little table. I suppose you could turn that table the other way if you wanted. More storage along here. Nice stereo system. And it has a uh, Bluetooth. Thank you. Maroon 5 here at FM 100.3. So you have all your different outside speakers, inside speakers. Looks to be a DVD player, surround sound system. Got a jack right here, so pretty nice. And that's, uh, you have some speakers up there, those two speakers. And then come over here. Inside here you have all your gauges, some USB charges, so you can have some ports. This is your electric jack for your bed to go up. Um, this is your awning right here. You can watch it come in and close itself. I didn't put it all the way out because it's a little windy today. And I don't, I don't like putting those out when it's too windy. Over here you got your generator. Looks like 464 hours, which is not horrible for an Onan. It's made by Cummins. I've seen these generators with well over 1,000, 2,000 hours. Sometimes people think that less hours is better, but sometimes when things sit, that's actually worse. All the sills dry and crack, and they don't get maintained or used regularly. These engines are made to run, so that's a, it fires up really nicely so and then you got your water pump your water heater your fuel station got your little gauges one of the nicest things about this guy is let me show you really quick there's your TV by the way um, oh and here's another little storage area one of the nice things is right here you have solar it's at 12.6, but I have every single light on, and I have no generator running. So the, the actual power is coming from the sun, but I mean, there's a draw on it, then that's why it's 6.4, not... When I came in earlier, it was over 13 volts, because the sun was charging it up. But here we are in the kitchen area. Look how nice this is. Look how clean it is. Look at the stove top. I mean, it's a little dusty. Um, could wipe it down a little bit, but barely looks like it's been cooked on. And this is this is literally just dust. Look at that. I don't think this has probably ever been cooked on. <laughs> like, it's super clean. Just need to wipe it down. We're in a dusty area, so if you open the doors for too long, everything gets kind of dusty. But super nice, super clean. I'm surprised in how nice this unit is. Little spice rack, nice storage up here. Nice big fridge right here. Here's your uh, bathroom area, which is super nice. See, look, I just turned off a few lights. So what I just did is I just turned off those lights right there and it immediately jumped up to 13.1 volts it's because anytime you put a load on the batteries it's gonna pull it down the voltage there's your AC furnace central air AC works great just had it running here is your toilet nice taller toilet it's a porcelain toilet Nice lights, everything, everything is on switches, which is nice. You don't see that a lot in some of these trailers. But now you have a nice big old shower here. 
which is super nice. Glass shower enclosure, and it's a pretty big shower, so. And you could be seven to eight feet tall in this trailer and fit just fine. These ceilings are huge. Nice little vanity light again. And then you come into the bedroom, you have a nice little wardrobe, storage. This is where the outside kitchen is on the, on the other side of this. And then you have a nice bed here with some storage on the side of it and some storage up above. And he's replaced all the lights, just so you know, with LEDs. I don't know if you can tell, but they are all LEDs, which is super nice. Have another little TV, entertainment center. And everything's on switches, which is really nice. There's that battery. But yeah, so super nice trailer. Super clean. If you're looking for a nice toy hauler, that is an... Oh, I mean, besides the front end cap with the little weather, I would say this trailer is in excellent condition. The inside, I would rate it close to new. I mean, wipe it down a little bit to get some of the dust out of here, and you have, like, almost a brand new trailer on the inside. I know that sometimes is a matter of opinion, but in my opinion, it is really, really good shape. So give me a call if you got any questions on our website, rvsofamerica.com. Thanks so much for watching.